Stunning allegations of discrimination and harassment against San Diego's longtime city clerk. Good afternoon. Welcome to the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Elizabeth Mayland just recently retired. A new lawsuit filed claims she only promoted white and Hispanic employees and was also biased against older workers. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from City Hall with more on some of the claims in this lawsuit. Kelly? That's right, and we sat down with one of the plaintiffs this afternoon. Trude Hughes uh, started working in the city clerk's office, uh, she says, in 2004 and then left in 2021 because she says uh, the environment had just become too difficult to work in. The environment felt very toxic. Um, I felt that I was um, being talked to, being talked down to, um, being bullied. I do feel that there is a bias there. I feel that um, it went on for so long that um, it was no longer paid attention to. And Hughes is one of four people suing the city. Uh, the other three still work at the city clerk's office, and they're suing the city for several things, including discrimination, harassment, and retaliation. They point the finger at Liz Mayland, and they say she not only made demeaning remarks to non-white and non-Hispanic employees, such as, quote, I own you. They claim she openly stated she does not like to promote older employees and refused to let them get the training they needed to move up. Now, Mayland is someone who just retired this month after 17 years as city clerk. Uh, she's someone you see at every city council meeting. In fact, she received glowing remarks by council members regarding her retirement. Uh, but the plaintiffs say their experience working for her was a nightmare and that she was abusive. Now, Hughes was a budget analyst. Uh, she has a master's degree in public administration. She's the only one in the department with the certified municipal clerk designation. But she says no matter what she did, she kept getting passed over for promotions. She says she was often in charge of training other people to be her supervisor. I think that um, the city has talked quite a bit about diversity, equity, and how they don't tolerate um, discrimination of any sort. In fact, the city clerk herself signs off on the EEO policy every year. And, um, but it's, it's all talk. And it's just time for some real, some real action. Now, Mayland uh, vehemently denies the uh, allegations. Uh, she sent us a statement and called the lawsuit baseless. Uh, the allegations repugnant. She says she's dealing with some health issues in her family and that this lawsuit has only made things worse. Uh, she says she hopes her decades long record of public service speaks for itself. Heather and Carlo. Now, Kelly, what was the city's response to the lawsuit? And then where do things go from here, considering that she is retired now? That's true. So the city attorney's office says they don't comment on pending litigation. Uh, we do know that a court date is set for June. Uh, when it comes to Hughes, she said this isn't about money. She says this is about really sending a message and getting change. Uh, she says that she hopes the city council really thinks long and hard before they appoint a new city clerk. Definitely a troubling lawsuit. Kelly Hesedal reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.